Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we had a new version of Google Chrome this week, which arrived on the 28th, late on the 28th, and it contains a few new features, including a better way of syncing uh, and of connecting, meaning that it's easier to connect to your accounts, and the um, sync and connection to accounts are kind of handled now in only one process rather than having two different things. Uh, when sh which is one is the connection, the other one is the syncing. Uh, so there's a few things like that that have been uh, tweaked and uh, changed. Of course, if you go to the upper right corner, three vertical dots, go to help about Google Chrome, and you'll be at 142.0.7444.60. But what's the most important, I think, is that there are 20 security flaws that are fixed. 20, that's a lot. So a lot of them are high severity. Of course, there's all the different services within Chrome are almost all affected, including, of course, the famous V8 scripting engine, the WebRx, and so on. So this, if you don't really care about a new version, don't really care about anything that has to do with new features, you should move on to 142 for the 20 fixes for security. Uh, a lot of them are high severity, which means there's a lot of web pages that will just try to, uh, you know, infiltrate the browser and your PC uh, just by, of course, having bad code on some shady websites most of the time. Sometimes it could be a good website, but it could be a website that, you know, the um, owners don't take care of and some security flaws have been um, found by some hackers and sometimes they'll slip bad code in a perfectly correct or perfectly good website for most people. So do update your browser and of course that means that you will have an update for your Chromium browsers and for Microsoft Edge. So uh, do take care of that to make sure you stay safe. If you enjoy my videos please subscribe, give us thumbs up, thank you for watching.